Good morning. We're back here at You Surf with another episode of Off the Rack. I'm not quite sure which number this is, but they'll put it somewhere. And uh, we actually got a special guest and good buddy of mine, Tyler Warren. Get in here, Piggle. So we're <laughs> we're going to go pick a couple surfboards and uh, go for a surf. So what do you got in here? A couple boards? Yeah, there's, a, there's definitely a couple. <laughs> Look at all those fins. The fin wall is pretty sick. Are you trying to get weird or are you trying to get high performance? Just something that seems about the right size for me. I feel like I could go for like a like a 6'4 blade. Oh, this one's sick. You should get this one. Day H day, is that your old board? Yeah. <laughs> you guys should buy this. It is a fun board though. Kinda didn't want to sell it. Wow. Look at this board, Tyler. This thing's pretty cool. That's my old board. <laughs> See, that's rad. Get a Grom board. Paint it over the Mayhem logo. That's sick. <laughs> Get a Grom board? 4-4. Four, four. How small of a board can you add? Here we go, now we're talking. This is what we're looking at. <laughs> One for each foot. <laughs> that's so funny. Whoa, how is that thing? Pad placement and choice is questionable, but <laughs> board's pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to take so that cool. pad off before, but I don't know. I guess you get the least amount of water resistance on the rail. It's pretty sick. Wow, that thing's pretty sick. Have you ever ridden a stretch? Mm, I don't know. I haven't. I've always wanted to. Dude, I like the tail template. I'm definitely into wide tails. I've been kind of eyeing this thing for a little bit. It's a little Evo kind of looking thing. Yeah, it's infinity. It looks cool. It's, like it's a an infinity? Punt. Yeah, it's a little punt stick. It's like, like a short board with the nose cut off. That's pretty shreddy. Kind of sick. A little I thin, but I'm sure you could rip it. Garage board. Five. This is definitely like not a garage board. Some. Pretty cool. Feels good. good. So many different boards hiding in here. You got another one? Ooh. Looks a little too good to be a garage board. I want like something fun. I want to have fun. Everything's so short boardy. You know what? Got any keepers there, Colton? Yeah, they're all over there. Dane's old board. Is it Dane? Who Dane? I feel like I could get down with this. I just gotta get weird. This thing's kind of sick. I might bring this over, actually. This is my last uh, pick, by the way. I don't want to miss anything. Or this one felt really cool. That's so weird. I want to get my nice coffee. Nice rails. Yeah. How you doing over there, Pickle? Pretty good. Ready to go surf? Yeah. You just got them laid out all over the floor? <laughs> <laughs> This thing's a little wide, but I really want to try one of Brandon's like boards. Be more of like a fishy feeling. Yeah, they actually have a five weeks, five fins, five dollars. This one feels insane. It's five barrels, five turns. Here at use sir. The fin wall. Fin wall. Gotta line them up. All right. So we got a couple surfboards, Jinx. and they look pretty fun. Now we got to narrow it down to one. But what do you got? What's that one on the left? Tim stamps. Five little fishy thing. You got multiple options there. Rails feel nice. Yeah, it seems like a pretty shreddable board. And then uh, Brandon Regenovich actually drew the logo for him. Been wanting to try one of his boards. A little wider than I normally ride, but looks fun. And then got the stretch. I forget what they call this model, but I think it's Nathan Fletcher's model. Looks pretty fun. It's like a short board with a wide tail and epoxy. What do you got there, Colton? Uh, I got an Infinity, probably Dan Bainey, little three fin thing that's pretty small. Looks like a little skateboard. And then I got a Tanner Shack Twinser that he made in his front yard. All of it, I think. Nice. That thing looks pretty fun. Six foot. Righteous. I don't know, I was kind of eyeing it and it looks sick. I brought over a Dane Godowskis glass in three fin, six one. Noise. With a hip in it that I actually didn't even notice. But yeah, this thing looks super sick. I've been looking at it for a while and no one's bought it yet, so I think I'm gonna give this one a fly, honestly. What do you think? Nice. I think I'm gonna just have to try this thing. I just wanna know what it does. I'd say Stretch is one of the more futuristic shapers out there. Fun he does things in boards that most people don't think of doing. Nathan Fletcher used to work with Cole a lot on boards, so I feel like there's some parallels with Stretch and Cole. Hmm, where are we gonna surf, you think? Go to lowers, unfortunately. <laughs>
What's up guys, we're back. We finished surfing, got two sessions in actually. Made sure we got a couple waves, but yeah, board went fun, the waves were fun. Um, what, what, you're on the... So I don't know what model it's called, but it's a stretch with a wide tail and a sharp boardy nose. It's 5'7", 19 and a half, two and three eighths it looks like. Sick. This one's 6'1", one. not sure what model it is at all, but uh, 18 and 7 eighths by 2 and 3 eighths glass and thruster. It's a very good board. What do you think about the paddle power on that thing? Rate it 1 out of 10. Mm, I'd say about a 7. 7 paddling? That's pretty good, I guess, for being short. It's epoxy, so... It, but I think, you know, today I could have used a little more foam or paddle power, but... And I think I actually need a little bigger fin, surprisingly, because the tail's so wide, but... Had a couple moments within the warble out there. Yeah, this thing did pretty good paddling as well. I'd give it almost like an eight or so. I bet you that's a good paddler. Yeah, paddling up front on it was nice. What about turning the thing one out of 10? What do you like? Turning, I'd say is about a seven two. Really? Yeah, it looked like it turned well for you. It went, a, went on rail nice. You, got, you just had to put it in the right spot and get the right opportunity. But yeah, it felt like it turned good, but not really good. Yeah. This thing was funny. It was like weird in the chop, kind of. It was like a little hard to like keep hold along rail line. Yep. But I'd give it like a six, probably. It's nice and drivey, which is good, you know? Would you do any airs on that thing? What do you rate it for an uh, airboard? Well, considering I don't try airs too often, but I <laughs> definitely think someone that knows how to pop them could uh, do a couple airs on this bad boy. That's, it. That's sick. You got your uh, rail grooves for, you know, your grabs. Nathan Fletcher style? Yep, definitely. I think he had a little influence on some of this board in some way. Yeah, this thing was sick for airs. Definitely recommend it. Uh, probably, I don't know what I'd give it out of 10, but it worked good. All around, definitely a good board. Do you think you'd recommend somebody buying that thing? Yeah, maybe a little. if you're a little bit lighter or you're just looking for a fun rockety board for a small day to have some fun on and just a different feeling give it a go yeah this thing's pretty sick too i definitely recommend grabbing it if i don't end up taking it <laughs> but yeah head on down to use surf check out a bunch of boards they got a bunch in there at the moment uh these will probably be in there pretty soon unless tyler wants it but yeah i'm down to let someone else give it a go it's fun to try that i never tried a stretch board so cool to check out sick i think he has some uh interesting design elements that is a little different than most shapers. Yeah, definitely looks good. Well, thanks for checking in. We'll catch you guys later. Chew. We just want to serve some more Come on down, we've got you Put your right back on the shore You're the one and only you serve store